During the Yom Kippur War, Israel beat its enemy so much it was miles from Damascus and really close to Cairo. The U.S. freaked out. The only reason why they supported Israel was to fight the Russians. Because the Arabs were supported by the Russians, and this is during the Cold War. But once Israel got too far, and the balance of the Middle East changed so drastically that Israel was so strong, and it was about to take over other countries and expand its borders so drastically that no one knew even knew what to do with them. And Israel literally was about to go and destroy both the, Ar the, the Egyptian army and the Jordanian army, that America quickly told them, that we cannot let you go and finish it. And they pulled back and they gave back lots of land and this, they made peace with Egypt. They gave back the Sinai Desert, etc. October 10th or 11th, I don't know exactly which day he said this, but Ben Shapiro said that Joe Biden is saying all the right things, but it's only a matter of time before Joe Biden does what Henry Kissinger did during the Yom Kippur War in the 70s and pull Israel back from what they have to do in order to stop existential threats on their border. Joe Biden said we support Israel's right to defend itself. Joe Biden said that we're not going to hold Israel back in any shape or form. Two months later, Joe Biden is trying to get a permanent ceasefire and allow Hamas to remain in power. Conservatives were yelled at how can you bash Joe Biden? Look at what wall he's doing. He's doing such a good job. We all said it's only a matter of time before he just goes the route of every single politician since Israel was created. There is no way that a Western government can allow Israel to exist because Israel existing is the antithesis of the West. It is too good. The West's thought process is that such good cannot be, democ a complete democracy cannot actually be created. There must be racism, there must be evil within a democracy. That's what the United States, the Democratic Party lives on. That's what the, every party in the world lives on. Conservatives are trying to fight that, but it's not really working. But Israel has created that because it's a Jewish state and therefore Whatever your affiliation is, at the end of the day, you go home and you're a Jew and everyone's connected. It doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter what you wear. So Joe Biden cannot let Israel finish this war. And they're holding them back. And every time Israel does an airstrike killing Hamas, Hamas terrorists, Joe Biden calls them out. Anthony Blinken, the Secretary of State, calls them out. They don't do this for Ukraine. Ukraine just blew up a train. You don't hear about anything from the White House about how, hey, maybe you shouldn't blow up trains. You don't hear about it from Syria. Syria probably killed in the past two months more than Israel killed in the past two months. But no one's going to mention that. You don't hear about Sudan, how many, many Muslims have died there. In Afghanistan, millions of refugees were kicked out. 1.7 million refugees were kicked out of Afghanistan, what, uh, out, of, out of Pakistan, Afghan refugees and another 700,000 were kicked out of Iran, Af Afghan refugees. You can hear any of this. But Joe Biden is not allowed to let Israel defeat Hamas. And we said this will happen, and it'll just get worse as this war goes on. Joe Biden knows what war is. He's a politician for over 40 years. He's seen many, many wars with many, many hundreds of thousands of casualties. He hasn't said a word. Israel kills 15,000, and that's the most possible, as that's the Hamas numbers, and Hamas always exaggerates. And Joe Biden is having a meltdown because his own party is against him now. This is the new America. The new America is you cannot fight terrorism. You have to accept terrorism and exalt it. In that world, we're all dead.